Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your in WordPress for your contact page. So to get started, make sure you've already installed Ninja Forms as a plugin on your WordPress site. Then next, I believe you know how to install a plugin. So once you installed the Ninja Forms, the next thing is to click on Add New and you can depending on what the goal is so let's click on contact us uh i'm going to use one of their templates so this is the template uh, now next I can click on this plus sign to add, to customize it. Maybe you want to add things like um, phone number. So you click on phone number and just is a drag and drop method. Then if you want to add of like um, uh, either radio button or uh, a drop down so click on this then drag it up here and do things like how did you pass? and you can choose to make it a required field if you want them to answer this question so you can click on Social media. Email. Let's see, add new. You can ask, um, see, offline. Either be the TV, radio, billboard. So now, then next is the bot bot into send message. Now, the next is to click on email and actions to customize the kind of message you receive and your recipient, the person who filled the form on your site will also receive. So there are different options here. We have the store submission. This is where you see all the submitted forms so far. There's a success message. If you want to customize that, or then email confirmation and email notification is the one that Ninja Forms will send to you once someone fills a form on your site. So, now from this, you can see the Ninja Forms has already added your admin email, which you use in registering your Ninja Form website and. The reply button is email if you want to reply the person who sent you an email. So you can also want to you may want to tweak the you can tweak it and say something depending on what the page is. So you can say sorry. could be inquiry form. And even tweak it to be the subject of what they filled here, depending on if you added a subject that you want to track. Depending if you have, suppose it's, if it's like uh, different services that you offer and they decide to select one, 
you can replace that subject with this but i didn't do that here so i'll just ignore for now so now here you can change the you can change this to add all the fields you want to have all the fields here and then next you can also change the submission confirmation it could either be and here you can just send them a short message saying hi then customize it this is the, like I said, this is the email that the person will field a form on your site to receive. It's an autoresponder, so you can replace it with high name. Thanks for filling out. Thanks for your. Sensitive, we are get in touch. We'll see you shortly. Next, and once you're done, you click on done and then click publish and then close so the next step would be to copy the code this is a short code that the ninja form to create for you automatically go to your landing page and embed the form there. So, I click on this, change this to text, embed the short code, and Click on update. Then once it's updated, you can click to view the page to see how your page. All right, so that's our form. You can see the form. Also, if you want to also remove this, it's also easy for you to remove this. Contact me at the top. So you just go back to your form. Click on the form again. And edit it. So we click on advanced display settings and then you need to check this title display form to close that field and then you click done and click then you go back to your
Now you can see the contact me at the top is no longer there. So that's your form. You learned a lot from this lesson on how to set up your ninja forms. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. If you don't want to miss out on future from me. So happy WordPress design.